Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. We have you alongside at now 510 on a Monday morning. Doesn't feel like it outside, but it is hurricane season, being that it's June. So uh, let's get rolling with your satellite composite across the Atlantic Basin. And it's easy to roll this morning because just some scattered, disorganized thunderstorms occupy the basin and the National Hurricane Center not hot on any development tropical storm wise in the next several days and by convention their outlooks now go out to seven days here in 2023. The names that will be used hopefully we don't get too far down the list already have Arlene off the list from late last week. Let's get you outside with your West Shore home first alert sky cam from the Southport waterfront. Oliver's on the Cape Fear looking over the bulkhead, seeing some brightening skies. Even with the city lights in downtown Wilmington, we're getting that as a subtlety. Good visibility from the Murchison building here in the top of the five o'clock hour where it is 53 degrees in the port city, officially at the airport. The dew point managing to wiggle down into the upper 40s. This is rare June air, and this will be the coolest morning that we've had in a while and will have in a while. So if cool weather is your thing and you like to throw on a sweatshirt and maybe sip the coffee on the porch a little bit before you have to get going on this Monday, that just might hit the spot with temperatures like this. So all over the map, a lot of 50s, even a few pockets of 40s. Your radar scan, let's check that box. It's free and clear of showers, thunder showers, some off to the south. Rain backing into Maine on this east coast view, but we're in a dry pocket today. So if you've got a project outside, the job site going to be hopping, sunscreen up, and don't worry about rain interrupting your work. Getting you through the rest of the week, we have some percentages showing up. Nothing crazy. And nothing crazy in the temperatures as well. They will be walking back to warm levels this afternoon, you may say qualifies. And some deeper 80s a time or two on your five day forecast high temperature graph. How about lows? Uh, yeah, we're not going to sniff temperatures quite as cool as this morning again this week. That said, Kim, tonight and Thursday night on that sort of side of the fence when compared to average. So. No big heat waves coming, that's for sure. Back to you. 